Hi everyone, welcome back to the Organized Notebook. Today we would like to share how to track habits digitally. Habits and habit trackers can be important for success in all areas of your life. Forming a good habit or breaking a bad one can be something that is life-changing. Usually making or breaking a habit can take around 30 days. Once something becomes habitual, you won't have to think about doing it. This is why habit tracking can be so important. We recommend digital habit tracking because of how easy it is to keep track of all your data, especially using Notion as our preferred way of tracking habits. To start tracking habits, make sure you have a Notion account. We'll leave a link to Notion in the description. All you need to do is get a free template from our website using Gumroad. We'll also provide this link below. Once you're at our website, click the Gumroad button and fill in the information. Once it's filled in, you'll get redirected to the template. Click the duplicate button. You'll need to either log into your Notion account or it may redirect you automatically. Let's get into how to use this habit tracker. You'll first have to enter in your habit goals. This is used to determine which habits might be the most beneficial to track during the month. Click set your habit goals to get started. Fill everything and decide on three to five habits to track for the month. For this month, we've decided to try yoga, reading 30 minutes a day, and walking 10,000 steps. Let's see how it goes. Let's try setting up rewards. Now that we have the three habits to track, let's fill in the setup rewards section. This part is optional, but you might find that you get extra motivation from doing this. You can even edit the motivational message that goes into each goal box. Feel free to customize or change the number of goals or rewards to fit your needs. Check the box if you complete the goal each week. Let's set up the habit calendar with our three habits. First, let's change each of the habit names on the tabs of the calendar to yoga, reading, and 10,000 steps. Next, we'll go and fill in the first day of our habit tracking. Click the plus sign in the calendar, type in the day of the week, When you first start tracking, the habit checkboxes will also need to be renamed. Here, let's also change the names to yoga, reading, and 10,000 steps. Make sure that these are named in the same order as the tab names. Note that you can also write comments under each day if you want to keep track of how you're feeling. Here's how we did after one month of habit tracking. This is what our reward section looked like. We didn't quite hit every reward and goal, but still did okay. This is how our month looked like. Towards the end, there was a lot of consistency with the habits. Now let's do a reflection. In this template, we've also provided a place to reflect after the month is over. 
This is important because habits tend to take 30 days or more to develop. Reassessing how our habits went is important in order to determine if we need to continue with the same habits or if we can move on to trying another one. Here's how to reset your habit tracker. When you're done with this habit tracker, you can simply re-download the habit tracker template and start over again. Your old habit tracker will still be there for your own records. Renaming the title with the month and year can help make it easier to keep a record of your habit trackers. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about how to habit track digitally. Let us know your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Subscribe us for more productivity and organization related videos. See you in the next one.